Nancy B. Yankee, she used the goods and new. Gee, thanks, Mr. Swenson. You fixed it up fine. A super job. A playground keeper, he must be able to do all kinds of jobs to make the young ones happy. Now keep away from the trees, Yankee, or the kite will break again. I will. I'll see you tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow, Yankee. Why not? Tomorrow's only Tuesday. You planning on getting sick or something? I'm not going to work for the city anymore, Yankee. Gosh, they didn't fire you, did they? Yeah, there was something like that. They say I'm too old to work anymore. But I don't think that is so. You don't think so, do you, Yaki? Gosh, no, Mr. Swenson. That's what I told them down at the council, but they wouldn't believe me. It didn't do no good. They tell me I am finished. Today is my last day. But, but you're the best playground keeper in the whole world. Now, this is not your worry, Yaki. I will be all right. I will come and visit you children very often. Now be careful and keep the kite away from the trees. Yes, sir, I put it right on the line. I told him the whole neighborhood was squawking. They certainly are. What did Mrs. Elkirk say? I told him the street was full of holes, that every time it rained, we had lakes all over the place. I told him about the flat tires we were having. Well, for goodness sakes, what did he say? <laughs> he said yes, of course. He said yes, of course he would, or yes, of course he wouldn't? <laughs> he said yes, of course he would. Oh, that's wonderful. It's about time we had that street paved. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you kids think about it? Joyce? Yes, Dad, did you say something? Did I say something? The best news we've had around here for years, and you asked, did you say something? We're having the street repaved. That's fine. Well, you sure are enthusiastic about it. <laughs> what do you think, Jackie? About what, Pop? Well, how do you like that? Have I been talking to myself? We're having the street all fixed up. What street? I was convinced I'd done the impossible. I talked Mr. Selkirk into parting with city money. I should have a medal, and look at the reaction I get. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was sort of preoccupied. I've got a question to ask you, Pop. Yes, what is it? When does a man outlive his usefulness to society? Uh, huh? Well, does a man's age make any difference as long as he's doing his job right? Well, I should say a man's usefulness to society is never quite finished as long as he can function at all. That's what I thought. Thought about what, dear? I'm going to get Mr. Swenson his job back. Mr. Swenson's job back? Why, well, I thought I saw him at the park yesterday. He said that today was his last day. Gosh, firing a swell guy like that just because he's too old. Dad, it isn't fair. He's the best friend the kids ever had. I wish you'd talk to the city council about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Jackie. The council knows about things like that. They have all sorts of rules about retirement age and things. I'll see you later. Bill's coming to pick me up. We're going to the show. What about your civics test? Have you studied for it? No. Gosh, that's the dullest subject. There's nothing dull in knowing how your government works. It's every citizen's duty to be informed, to know about his rights. I suppose so. Well, I'll study it tomorrow. It might not be a bad idea for you to take a look at Joyce's civics books. You're not too young to learn how our council works. I think you got something there, Pop. That's what you're looking for, Jackie. I'll wait for you out front. What's the matter, Willie? The county jail is down there, ain't it? Sure. Why? Well, this is close as I want to get to it. Oh, come on. Come on in with me, Willie. I don't know Mr. Sweetson very well. Maybe you better do it. Willie, I'm ashamed of you. No backbone. How would you like to be fired when you're 65? I'm not going to worry about what's going to happen to me after I'm 65. All right. Wait for me. What can I do for you, young lady? I'd like to see the president of the council, please. May I inquire as to the nature of your business? I think that firing Mr. Swenson was a dirty trick. I want to talk to him about it. 
I see. Your visit's in the form of a protest. Is that it? I've got it all written out. I'm here to get Mr. Swenson's job back. Huh? Uh, I'm afraid Mr. Selkirk is quite busy. But if you'd like to lodge this protest, you would have to have it signed and brought in by an adult. An adult? Someone over 21, a taxpayer and a resident of the city. I've got an adult. Huh. Willie! You're an adult, aren't you, Willie? Huh? Oh, sure. Follow me. This is an adult. Willie feels the same way about it as I do. I do? Sign here, Willie. Now, what did I do? Go ahead, Willie. This is important, like, uh... Like signing something in the United Nations. We're fighting for human rights. Oh. There you are. Signed by a citizen and everything. I am afraid you're taking this matter a little too seriously, young lady. The city has a regulation that all employees be retired at the age of 65. I'm sure Mr. Swenson is perfectly happy to stop working. Do you know Mr. Swenson? Uh, no, I can't say that I've had the pleasure. Then how would you know how he feels? Well, I wouldn't know exactly, but I can imagine that a pension at this time wouldn't hurt his feelings. You're just talking that way because you don't know Mr. Swenson. He likes to work and all us kids want him to stay. He'd hate having nothing to do all day. He would? <laughs> I think he'd love a nice long vacation. Now, why don't you forget all about this? The council has already voted on the matter and it's finished business. Just because the council voted on it doesn't mean it's finished. Is that so? According to Section 501, Clause D of the Municipal Code, all protests are to be taken up at regular council meetings and acted upon. I'd like to see that law. Well, there's the book. Look it up. Huh. Huh. You're looking in the wrong part. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And it also says, young lady, that all protests should be in petition form and signed by no less than 25 citizens of the community. Let me see that. That fine print will get you every time. Come on, Willie. Let's go. Good day, sir. Yeah. You gonna do like the man said, forget about it, huh? No, Willie. I'm gonna take my case to the people. The people? You just talked to one of the people. He's the wrong kind of people. You know what we just got, Willie? No, what did we just get? We just got a bureaucratic runaround. But they're not gonna stop me. I've been waiting for someone to do that ever since she was born. stubborn thing together. The living room isn't the living room without a bookcase, I always say. That's what I always say. <laughs> I understand your daughter was on the council office this afternoon. Joyce or Jackie? Jackie. Oh. <laughs> she sure is a cute little minx. Minx is right. <laughs> My secretary... My secretary told me that uh, she's quite concerned over this playground keeper. Oh, that. <laughs> She'll be worried about Girl Scout cookies next week. <laughs> I wish you'd do me a favor. Sure, Mr. Selkirk, what is it? Make Jackie forget all about this, Mr. Swenson. You can't be worried about Jackie. What can she do? You'd be surprised. A child can go around spreading rumors. Then people begin to think that the council is a bunch of hard-hearted hills. And with the elections coming up, it might cost the right man a whole lot of votes. Now, don't you concern yourself about Jackie. I'll take care of her. Thanks. I know we could depend on you, Stu. Excuse you me. You always were a civic-minded man. Yes, I always try to do my duty. Especially when the president of the council is going to pave our streets. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to the boys about it this afternoon. It's practically in the bag. Here, let me show you how to do that. No, I... I used to be a champion at knocking nails in with one blow. One blow? Now, you watch it. Now, listen. Now, First finish. smack. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy. One. Two. I uh, guess my aim isn't quite as good as it used to be. 
You only missed it about three inches. Well, little glue will fix it up fine. Yeah. <laughs> you talk to Jackie and I'll let you know when we can start in working on the street. Well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. Hi, Pop. I didn't know you were typing your homework these days. I'm not doing homework, Pop. What's more important than homework? My petitions. What kind of petitions? I've got it all figured out. I'll get a lot of people to sign these, and Mr. Swenson will get his job back. Now, now, let me see this here. We, the undersigned citizens of the United States of America and taxpayers in good standing, hereby order the city council to put Mr. Swenson back to work immediately, if not sooner. Jackie, you can't do this. Why not? Well, because Mr. Selkirk said... I mean, <laughs> it's not right for a little girl to tell the council what to do. It's like Lincoln said. This is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. That council has to do what the people say. But the uh, people don't know anything about this. They will when I get through. Now, see here, young lady. You're going to listen to me. What's all the shouting about? I'm trying to shout some sense into this sister of yours. Jackie, I want to be fair. We'll leave it up to Joyce. I'll abide by her decision if you will. Okay. Joyce? Jackie is getting up petitions going against the will of the city council. What? She's trying to get Mr. Swenson's job back when everybody knows he has to be retired. Well, I don't know, Dad. Mr. Swenson looks pretty healthy and strong to me. Well, the council ought to know how healthy or strong he is or they wouldn't retire him on a pension. But he doesn't want it. Well, I should think that before they put him on a pension, they'd ask him if he wanted it first. Is that fair? It seems pretty arbitrary to me. Arbitrary? What do you kids know about running a city? No. Huh? Yes, uh, just a minute. I'll tell you what, we'll talk to your mother about it. You just talk to Joyce about it. Well, we'll abide by your mother's decision. But you said you were going to abide by my decision. Your mother is a very intelligent woman. She'll make you both understand that I'm right. Now, come on. Looks like we've got a bureaucracy right here in our own home. Come on. Do you have any idea what your daughter is doing? Stu, you did a beautiful job on these shelves. I think I'll finish them tonight. Don't you realize what Jackie has done? Not only has she bothered the secretary down at the council about Mr. Swenson, but now she wants to circulate petitions and force the council to take that old man back. Really? Your daughter questions the intelligence of our governing body, and you say, really. What am I supposed to say, dear? Well, tell her to stop this foolishness, of course, just like I did. Oh, I'm not so sure. Mr. Swenson's a very nice man, and I don't see anything wrong with keeping him on the job. Don't forget, Pop, we're going to abide by Mom's decision. Oh, I... Look, you don't paint against the grain. You paint with it, like this. Oh. Yes, dear, with the grain. I'll get something to clean it up. Oh, it won't hurt anything. We're going to settle this Swenson business once and for all. But there's nothing to settle. Mom said it was all right, didn't she? Don't you interfere. We can't let Jackie do this silly thing. Why not? Because it isn't right. Why isn't it right? Don't you interfere either. Stu, I think you're getting excited over absolutely nothing at all. Mr. Swenson is a good friend of Jackie's, and I'm sure all of the children hate to see him go. It's not up to the children to make decisions. That's why we elect the council. Jackie, you're to go up to your room right now and tear up those petitions, understand? I forbid you to carry this matter any further. Oh, Molly! Now look what you've done. It's all right, dear. Your father didn't mean it. Didn't mean it? I meant every word of it. You... you're un American that's what you are. Me? You're denying the rights of, of free press and, and free speech and free assembly and, and free petitioning. I agree with you, Jackie. You keep out of this! Everyone has the right to think what he wants to. Do oh. I think you'd better take a walk. June, can't you do something about your own children? Cooperate, will you? If you mean agree with you, I am not cooperating. Jackie has the right to circulate as many petitions as she wants to. You better clean up that paint. <laughs> We'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. 
And now, back to the Irwin. Uh, good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Father. I, uh, I thought we might take a walk over to the zoo this afternoon after school. I have other plans. Oh, uh, you, uh, you have? I have to go around with my petitions. Oh, still? It's my inalienable right as a citizen. Huh? Good day, Father. Joyce. Hello, Father. Uh, if you're going to get home early this afternoon, I thought maybe we might go over and watch the football practice. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm going to be busy helping Jackie. Uh. Uh. What have you got there? Petitions. Don't tell me you're going around with them, too. And why not? It seems to me that council can't be very good if it takes that poor man's job away from you. You can't do this to me. Selkirk is a good friend of mine. Besides, he's president of the council. I promised him I'd stop Jackie. Sue Irwin, you sound like you're afraid of Mr. Selkirk. Who's afraid of Selkirk? Well, if you aren't, you may be the first to sign this petition. No. Petitions. It couldn't have been anybody else's daughter. It had to be Jackie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr. Selkirk. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'd better be getting you some new draperies around here. <laughs> a favor for a favor, right? Ooh. Headache? <laughs> A big one. Mr. Selkirk, about Jackie. Oh, by the way, that's why I dropped in. Did you talk to her? Yes, I did. And uh, I knew that I wouldn't have anything to worry about the minute I left you last night. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a man that can handle a whole high school certainly can handle his own daughter. You'd think so. Well, I've got to be getting back to the council chamber. Uh, now, Mr. Selkirk. If there's any little thing that you want, just let me know. Well, there is one little uh, thing. It's about your street paving. No. Don't give it another thought. We're going to vote on the first thing tomorrow morning. Now, wait a minute, Mr. I'll Selkirk. I'll be seeing you. signatures have you got now? Oh, around 200, I guess. 221. All you need is 25 to petition the council. We decided against that. We're trying to get as many as we can, then we'll be able to force the issue. Uh, one thing more, Miss Irwin. Uh, what made you champion Mr. Swenson's cause? Well, because we liked him, I guess. Besides, every man has a right to rectify his own existence. <laughs> you mean justify his existence? Uh, that's right. Even my own pop says that a man is useful to society as long as he can function. Said that, did he? I think you can count on the Herald to support. Thank you. Wonderful. We can use your help. How about a group picture over here by the fireplace? To you. Sure, sure. In the kitchen. Now, you listen to me. Oh, well, there goes my dinner. You're not running away from me, Irwin. I'm not running away from anybody. What's on your mind? Did you see this evening's newspaper? Huh? 
Well, that's a very good picture, isn't it? You said you'd take care of Jackie. Now your whole family's out petitioning. What kind of a man are you, anyway? I tried, Mr. Selkirk, but the whole thing got out of hand. Do you know what they've done? The whole council is being held up to ridicule. If this keeps on, there's not one of us that stands a chance for re-election. Oh, I'm sorry. The council can't do anything about Swenson now. We've already hired somebody else to take his place. I wish there was some way that I could help you out. There is just one way out. You've just got to make Jackie withdraw that petition. It's not only Jackie now, it's June and Joyce. Well, it doesn't make any difference. If I have to go home now and tell my wife that her brother-in-law has been fired, she won't let me in the house. Brother-in-law? Is he the new playground keeper? Oh, it's embarrassing all around, isn't it? Well, as a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, I can't do a thing about it. Well, if you want your street paved, you better think of something. Are you trying to bribe me? Call it what you like. You have got to... I don't have to do anything. Come to think of it, Mr. Selkirk, how old are you? What's my age got to do with it? Plenty. You're 66 years old. Why doesn't the council retire you? Retire me? Because I'm president of the council, that's why. And the law doesn't apply to the executive. Why not? If Swenson's too old to do the job, then so are you. Well, you better squelch that petition if you know what's good for you. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. You're going to get out of my house. You get out. You're not going to intimidate me or my family. They can petition as much as they like. You bloated old plutocrat! I'll show you this is a free country. There's something wrong. Willie must have signed this at least 20 times. He did? That is not. It certainly isn't. Maybe we can get away with at least 10. Dad isn't home. He didn't tell either of you he was going out tonight, did he? No. Well, you two had better get to bed. You've both had a hard day. Tomorrow's Saturday. We can get a lot more signatures. If there are any left to get. Run along. Stu, oh, I was worried about you. What happened? Where were you? I'm petitioning. <laughs> Dad, you're on our side. <laughs> How many did you get? Plenty. Practically all of the teachers at school. <laughs> oh, darling, I think you're wonderful. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> all right, kids, now get to bed. Hit the hay. <laughs> you certainly changed your mind in a hurry. What happened? Selkirk and his brother-in-law, the new playground keeper. What? Yeah. We won't get our street fixed now, but nobody can tell the Irwins what to do. 892, 893, 894, 895, and 896. Is that enough, Pop? It certainly is. Grab your hats. We're going to pay a visit to the city council. And, Jackie, you can hand these petitions to Mr. Selkirk personally. Yaki, <laughs> Yaki. Mr. Swenson? Uh, Yankee, that was very nice of you. You took all that trouble for me, Yankee. Gosh, Mr. Swenson, it was nothing. You're a good friend. Oh, but Yankee, you are my very best friend, Yankee. I bet you'll be working here for a hundred more years. I bet you I want to, too. <laughs> it's good to see you back, Mr. Swenson. It certainly is. We all missed you. <laughs> yeah, I will be here for a long, long time. Hey, Yankee? <laughs> Anytime you have any trouble, I'll uh, type up a few more petitions. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mr. Swenson? Yes, Mr. Selkirk. In uh, behalf of the other members of the city council and myself, we wish to present you with this watch as a token of our esteem for your long and faithful service. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate this very much. Look, Yaki, look. Gee, isn't that beautiful? Show Mommy. Stu. Yes, Mr. Selkirk? I want to apologize for the things I said to you the other night. I, I didn't mean them. I forgot all about them. <laughs> Swell. By the way, I have a meeting with the paving contractor to fix your street. Would you like to talk to him with me? Yes, I would. Well, yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, uh, just a minute. Oh, June. Put it on, Mr.
she be yakking? She is so good, so new. Gee, thanks, Mr. Swenson. You fixed it up fine. A super job. A playground keeper, he must be able to do all kinds of jobs to make the young ones happy. Now keep away from the trees, Jackie, or the kite will break again. I will. I'll see you tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow, Jackie. Why not? Tomorrow's only Tuesday. You planning on getting sick or something? I'm not going to work for the city anymore, Jackie. Gosh, they didn't fire you, did they? Yeah, there was something like that. They say I'm too old to work anymore. But I don't think that is so. You don't think so, do you, Yaki? Gosh, no, Mr. Swenson. That's what I told them down at the consul, but they wouldn't believe me. It didn't do no good. They tell me I am finished. Today is my last day. But, but you're the best playground keeper in the whole world. Now, this is not your worry, Yaki. I will be all right. I will come and visit you children very often. Now be careful and keep the kite away from the trees. Yes, sir, I put it right on the line. I told him the whole neighborhood was squawking. They certainly are. What did Mr. Selkirk say? I told him the street was full of holes, that every time it rained, we had lakes all over the place. I told him about the flat tires we were having. Well, for goodness sakes, what did he say? <laughs> he said yes, of course. He said yes, of course he would, or yes, of course he wouldn't? <laughs> he said yes, of course he would. Oh, that's wonderful. It's about time we had that street paved. Mm. Well, what do you kids think about it? Joyce? Yes, Dad, did you say something? Did I say something? The best news we've had around here for years, and you asked, did you say something? We're having the street repaved. That's fine.